You should hog up all their code and not let anyone modify or use it. You should open up the source code fix it. That would help with the creation of an open computer society that would allow the creation of different programs or spin-offs of the original or make the original even better. With that being said, with the creation of Android, the market for an open source operating system has not been more prevalent than it is now and that every computer operating system should come with an available source code for developers to edit and code with. Open source was first seen in the 1960s when IBM sold large-scale computers that came with free software which came with a source code and could be freely modified and in a sense it was open. Later a programmer named Richard Stallman created and designed the GNU project and the Free Software Foundation with the ultimate goal of creating a free operating system. In 1993, a Finnish student, Linus Torvalds, who was unhappy with the operating system, with operating systems, created custom kernels which were the first basic use of Linux. Linux is now the base for Android and other consumer and enterprise operating systems like Ubuntu and Red Hat Linux. With open source, the development of apps and operating systems would be wide open. This would mean the source code would be readily available for any developers to edit to their own liking. For example, CyanogenMod, a very large Android firmware which is based off the Android open source project, is a massive modification of Android's kernels and other general modifications to the system so Android runs faster and more stable than stock. Many other companies have also modified the Android open source project, like for example, HTC Sense is HTC's version of Android with special HTC frameworks which causes Android to look completely different and if the user likes, nicer. When companies release the source that they have readily available to the public like Google has, that makes sure that there was no central point of failure so no industry player could restrict or control the innovations of any other. You may say that this will stop them from making money, which is not entirely true. According to the open source initiative that says, an important side effect of the open source model will be a wider platform range for your product. Open source authors frequently find themselves receiving, for free, port changes for operating systems and environments they barely know exist and can't afford developers to support for. Each such port, of course, widens the market appeal of the product. This means as long as there is a desire for a certain product and a developer wants to release the source and everything there will be an ever-changing product dependent on the developer's vision and knowledge. Look at all the spin-offs for Android the consumer has to choose from. HTC Sense, Moto Blur, HTC Expresso, and all the other ones that custom ROM developers make. It helps create massive variety that will benefit the consumer in the long run and help with the, con help with the creation of new and interesting things in Android. I interviewed Sean Weaver to ask him a few questions about Android's development. I can program, you know, say I program really well in one language, but I require something of another language. I can easily leave that working, and then somebody else who knows it really well can come in and improve upon the code and add to it, and it can be integrated automatically. And so both will work, and both will work really well then. Is it Better off to have close source and you know make a little bit of money, possibly, but not likely if the code is crap because then it's going to run like crap. Reality. Open source would be a good option for developers and businesses in general. There can't be any ex any excuses for loss of profit or lack of development. There will always be a developer that wants to work on it all. 